opposite field with a base hit. Here comes the runner. Here comes the throw. And let's see. He holds on to it. Does he hold on to it? And they have a fight. And they go for the last And the place is empty. Two outs, and Hammond steps in. One out of three with a walk today. Urbina deals. A line drive out into left field. Breaking in. Conine can't get to it. Up with it. The runners wave. Here's the throw to the plate. Pudge is waiting. He tags him. Gets knocked over. Holds on. And the Marlins win the game. And it's the Marlins who have beaten the Giants. His body. Pendleton drills one to deep center. Lonnie Smith is going to head for third. Nobody out. They're sending him home. A late throw by Knobloch, and out! Harper held the ball. Pendleton ends up at the... Lonnie Smith tags up, and now the ball goes over the head of Kirby Puckett, and he's got 180 feet to run, and he's out on a brilliant play by Brian Harper. Watch the short hop, and now holding on to it. How in the world did Harper ever hold on to this ball? My goodness. Smith, like a middle linebacker, plowing into Harper. Boy, that's hard ball. And bad yeah. base running by Lynch again to Gorman. Swung on, ground ball to the right side, base hit out of the right field. Here comes Bradley, Ronnie third, the throw by Barfield, and it's going to be in time. The collision, Bradley bowls Martinez over. Thomas will wind up on the third base. Ronnie third, the throw gets by Orange. Throw to the plate, and it is in time to get Gorman. Oh. One and one. High fly ball to shallow, well, medium center, and he should come home and score. Win makes one throw, and Ferguson took it with the better arm. The throw! They got him! Oh, what a play! The one arm in the outfield was able to shoot down the runner. Watch Ferguson now get in front of him. This is a great throw. All the way on the fly. And what a block of home plate by Yeager. Look at that left foot planted. I asked Jim Wynn if he had to make a hard throw, what would happen? Said my arm would draw up for the next three days. I could make one throw and that's all. What a magnificent throw by Joe Ferguson to double up the runner. Here's the end of that play as Bando comes in with Ferguson making one of the best plays we've seen all year, Vin, and the guts of Steve Yeager, the catcher, and blocking that plate and holding on to the ball. An amazing throw and an amazing block at home. Watch the Cardinal pitch. And McGriff hits a bullet into right field for a base hit. That will roll to the bullpen gate. In comes Green. Now they're waving Jordan in. Nady's throw to the plate on a big collision. The ball is loose. Ball one strike, the pitch. Swing on the ground, line drive. Low line drive, scooped up by Nettles, throws to the plate, and he's out at the plate. And there's a little wrestling match as Carney Lansford and Mike Keith get into it. Both benches empty, and we have a melee around home plate. And now a ground ball coming home with it. Boom! Posada hangs on. Here we go. The throw to the plate is in time as they bowl over Yadier Molina. He Delivering pizzas. It's a long way from what Edgar did. And this could get the run home. Edmonds really charges. Here's the throw. Out if Matheny holds on. Of all the great catchers who've appeared on this week in baseball, none consistently blocked the plate better than Mike Sosha. Here comes going to the plate. Marshall throw to Sosha. He is blocked out. Sosha has been knocked off his feet many times. He was even knocked unconscious once, but held on to the ball. I don't remember too much of anything about that collision. I was, I was knocked out for about five minutes. The throw to Sosha! What a tag by Sosha! I don't know how I held on to the ball. I think the ball just held on to me, and he was out. I have never in my life seen a catcher block home plate 
like Mike shows you.